All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutations to all you occupants pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. This is part seven, I believe it's six or seven, of the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, 2024. I'm not going to start off in Isaiah, the 10th chapter, verses 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. Who's my people? The Israelites. Who's God's people? The Israelites. You so-called <clears throat> Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I'm going to focus on you so-called Latinos today because Jacob trouble affects you. You're you're. A descendant of Jacob, if your line comes from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, on your father's side. It says that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And this is a clear example. What I'm going to show you is an unrighteous decree that Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, is putting out here. And I live in the state of Georgia, and, you know, I did a lesson on this, uh, this Edomite girl named Lakin, Lakin Riley, all right, who was a student at UGA who got uh, slain by a so-called immigrant from Venezuela, which at the end of the day, Esau is the devil, all right? He could have set that up. It could have been some sacrifice. It could have been something that made this unrighteous decree. Now, this is from Everything Georgia, and it says, Georgia has passed a bill that will allow police to arrest anyone suspected of being in the country illegally so who's that who is that going to affect so-called latinos and we've been telling you so-called latinos that esau edom is not your friend all right we've been telling you that you're an israelite all right there's a i'm i'm, I'm, I'm here at the laundromat right now all right and it's nothing but a bunch of so-called latinos some of them could be so-called mexicans some of them could be so-called uh, Panam uh, Panamanians, the Guatemalans, the tribe of Zebulon. I don't know. All right. But it's a, a bunch of, they're mostly men. I'm looking at them right now. It's mostly men. And Fox News is, Fox News is on. And guess what they're talking about? The immigration crisis. So <clears throat> this devil, all right, you could be born here. All right. You could be uh, from the tribe of Issachar, so-called Mexican. You could be from here. And they can suspect you of being here illegally and they can detain you. That's why we're telling you so-called Latinos to wake up along with you Negroes and Native Americans. So it says Georgia has passed a bill that will allow police to arrest anyone suspected of being in the country illegally. It also provides immunity to police, to officers for mistakenly arresting the, the wrong person as long as they're acting in good faith. That is mostly going to be Edomite cops, as you can see, and those, uh, you know, those those uh, black cops that want to show out for the white man. All right. They're on alert for people who might be here illegally. And you know what? They're not going to um, they're not going to be looking at these Hamites because on my way to camp yesterday, I saw I saw a Hamite I, as clear as day. They're not looking for him. They're targeting you so-called black. They start, they're targeting so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, especially you uh, Latinos, you Hispanics, you Mexicans. This devil is targeting you. And like I said, I'm at the laundromat. They got it on Fox News, and they showed a clip of some Edomites at the border trying to uh, detain people coming across the border. And the Biden administration, the Biden administration, arrested them. So this, these devils, man. All right. They're not your friend. They're having they're having these conversations at, at the uh, table right now about this uh, illegal immigration crisis, so-called illegal immigration crisis. Continuing on, it says it only provides it also provides immunity to officers who for mistakenly arresting the wrong people as long as they're acting in good faith. When have the cops acted in good faith? It says the bill comes after the killing of Lake and Riley in Athens. And they, they so-called laid her to rest yesterday. And like I said, you can't trust Esau. He's the devil. He could have had that girl set up and then they say, oh, yeah, you know, you know, we're going to pin it on somebody from Venezuela. 
All right, let's get that Revelation 12, man. It's about time for you so-called Latinos who are meant to get this word to wake out of that sleep that you're in. All right, the so-called white man does not like you. Along, He does not like the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And what this devil do, he'll get like, what this devil do, he'll, he'll, he'll come with division. He'll talk to the so-called black man, yeah, we got a legal immigration problem. Yeah, and then he'll talk to the so-called black man, like, yeah, the black man will be like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, them, them illegals, man. Knowing damn well he hates your black ass, all right? This this man is coming down with great wrath, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil, all right? That word is uh, diabolos, all right, which applies to a man who opposes the will of God. That fits the so-called white man. It says, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. He's trying to uh, fulfill his enterprise, his so-called new world order with his world economic form. You just had Jacob Rothschild that died at 87. All right. He was one of those top devils who's planning to uh, come down on you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans through his lesser luminaries. All right. And his, the Rothschilds are still here just because one of them devils died. It don't mean that they they still they ain't, they ain't here. All right. This man is coming down with great rot, great wrath. And, there, and there's all there's already I'm gonna get this Matthew 12, a division amongst Esau, Edom, because like I said, I'm at the laundromat right now. And uh, last week, uh, Biden was at the border. Trump was at the border. It was like a 300 mile radius between the both of them one i think one was um i don't know but the, the news basically said they were from the 300 mile radius one was at one part of the one part of the border one was at the other part and then you had gavin newsom you know that devil of california licking his chops over the border situation There's a lot of things that's happening man and it's affecting you so-called black suspense and native americans now we 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 spoke on the bowser pinto plan all right, that affected so-called blacks up there in Washington D.C. with those unrighteous decrees. Now, now, hey, this this Lake and this Lake and Riley uh, incident is leading up until up to these cops saying, "Hey, if you, hey, we're gonna have to detain you. We don't know where your papers at." And that's why it's important for brothers that you know to have their uh, ID on them, their driver's license, you know, registration, all that, all that. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, these devils, man, especially down here in the South. All right. They, they want to do their own thing. All right. They, they said to hell with the federal government. This is Matthew 12 and 26. Uh, Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. This place is divided. You got people that's for Biden. You got people that's for Trump. Now, like I said, I, I'm, see, I'm watching Fox News when I go inside the laundromat, go dry my clothes. And it was a poll that said 41% of people that they uh, interviewed said that there's a problem with the border. The other ones, the other half, the other half said that wasn't really a big deal. So th this place is divided on this border issue, man. And like I said, so-called Latinos, you need to start waking up to who the fact who the devil is. You just in that docile spirit. All right. You know, you so-called Mexicans, you so-called Puerto Ricans, you all fit the description. They can say, hey, look, man, we're going to have to detain you. We don't know who you are. We got all this crime activity going on. We're talking about the devil here. All right. But they're they're divided amongst themselves. And how shall I knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Yeah, the United States is not going to be here too long, man. This place is divided. And ultimately, through prophecy, America will be destroyed within, within one hour. All right. When another set of Edomites from Russia and other countries come up against the United States in World War III. But before that, you're going to see all types of unrighteous decrees, draconian laws. Let me get this Daniel 825 and close it out. I ain't going to be too long. You're going to see more unrighteous decrees, man. This this place is not free. All right. 
It's not the land of the free and the home of the brave, man, as they say. Now, this scripture applies to Antiochus Epiphanes that came under the time of the Maccabees. Matter of fact, hey, man, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but, you know, when you, when you go to the time of Antiochus Epiphanes, he was writing uh, unrighteous decrees. Matter of fact, let's just get it, man. All right, because there's nothing new under the sun. There was uh, there was a guy that came to the camp. He looked like an Edomite, but I don't know. He could be a Jake. He, he stood there. He got sliced up with the word. I don't know, but he didn't believe in reincarnation. Everything is reincarnated. What Esau was doing back during uh, ancient times, he's doing today. <clears throat> now let's go to um, where's Maccabees. <clears throat> Let's start at one. And it happened after that Alexander, Alexander the Great, we call him Alexander the Greek or Alexander the Freak, son of Philip the Macedonian who came out of the land of Shittim, has smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes. Now, um, it was prophesied, you know, for Alexander to come up. All right. And, uh, the Greeks were outnumbered against the uh, Persians, but the Greeks came out victorious, all right, because the Most High has set these kingdoms to be set up, and America is no different. America got set up and is going down. It says <clears throat> that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece, and made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth and went through to the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations insomuch that the earth was quiet before him whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up. Yeah, Alexander the Greek. I think it took 12, 12 years for him to conquer the known world at that time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. After these things, he fell sick and perceived that he should die. Wherefore, he called his servants such as were honorable and had been brought up with him from his youth and part of his kingdom among them while he was yet alive. And you had the four generals. You had Cassander, Lycomachus, Ptolemy, and Seleucid. All right, those four generals. So Alexander reigned 12 years, and then he died. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after many, them, after many years, and evils were multiplied on the earth. So after Esau reigned, evils were multiplied in the earth. And our people still can't figure out this man is pure evil. He's the devil. All right. What do they say? Civilization started with the Greeks? No. Wickedness started with the Greeks. Okay. That's how, that's how Jews became Hellenized. That's why you have the Gentiles in the Bible that are uh, granted salvation. Those are Israelites that are Hellenized. They started speaking Greek. They started cutting off their beards. They started eating pork. They started balding their heads. See, Christians don't understand that. It says, continuing on, and there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, the son of Antiochus, the king who had been in, in hostages at Rome and had reigned in the 137th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. And those days went out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do the ordinances after the heathen. That's how Jews became Hellenized. All right. Christians don't read the Apocrypha, which is part of the King James 1611 Bible. It says, and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the Holy Covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. Now, now when the kingdom was established before Antiochus, he thought to reign over Egypt that he might have dominion of two realms. And let me go down a little bit more. This is 1 Maccabees 1, 
and verses 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote his whole wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one. I mean, it's not that's the same thing that's going on today. Which you know, they want to make everybody one. What they had speaking of Georgia, they had the Georgia Godstones. What happened last year? That hey, it's no more. And do on this new world order, they want to make everybody one. All right. And we're, we've been telling you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans about this devil, man, and his new world order. Donald Trump, he's just a puppet. Joe Biden, he's just a puppet. Like They're they showing him on the screen right now. They're just puppets, all right, for the ones that are higher ups. It says, and everyone should leave his laws so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Also forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple. And they should also prepare, profane the Sabbath and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy, holy people. Set up altars and groves and chapels of, of idols and sacrifice swine, swine's flesh and unclean beasts. And these are all abominations and our people still fall into this day. But the point is Esau, Edom, all right, there's no new thing under the sun. He will decree unrighteous decrees at an instant. And that's what he's doing right now with these border situations, these situations where you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans reside at. All right. He has the power. Let's go to. Uh, Job 9 and 24. Just a, just a little history, man, you know. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. You can read Malachi, the first chapter. It said he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Esau, Edom. This is the last, excuse me, last heathen rulership before the kingdom of heaven. Uh, Proverbs. Proverbs 16. I think it's four. Proverbs 16 and four, the Lord, the Lord's name is Yahweh, have made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. Now we do have, uh, that's a spirit, man. I'm, I'm next to this guy. He's got a Roswell, New Mexico sticker and it's got a uh, chariot on it. All right. That's a hey, call on me. How about Shemel Shai? But uh, the Lord have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. All right. So all these legislations and laws is leading up to martial law. All right. Detainment of you so-called black, Hispanics and Native Americans. All right. Because they, they're going to start detaining, detaining people here in the state of Georgia. All right. Falsely. You could be a so-called Dominican. You could be a so-called Puerto Rican. You could be so-called Cuban. They can be like, look, man. We got to detain you. We don't know who you are. It's been suspicious activity. This is what we're dealing with, man. We're dealing with the wicked. That's why we tell our people to not trust this devil. All right. So uh, I'm gonna go back to that Daniel and close it out. Um, I was kind of all over the place, but Salaki, I'm just I was trying to prove the point that, hey man, this devil's coming down with great wrath. He has a short period of time because after. All right, his rulership, he's going head first into slavery. So he got to do what he can do while the time is short. And he's, it's already March, man. It's, Mar it's, March, it's March the 3rd, 2024. All right, before you know it, it'll be summertime. And who knows what's going to happen then? There's been talks of this solar eclipse and, and the solar eclipse emergency preparedness plan. All right, you still got this election if it's, if it's going to happen. It's just so much stuff that is going on that, um, you know, you got to be occupied in prophecy. All right. You so-called Latinos, man, you need to start waking up to this gospel, man. Stop worshiping them idols. Stop worshiping uh, Jesus Cristo. Okay. Jesus Cristo is Negro and his real name is Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, Daniel 8 and 25. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. 
and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. And this man has destroyed many people through his legislation. Look what happened during the 90s. All right. With the three strikes bill that uh, Joe Biden had a part in it. And Clinton was the president. He saw he sent a lot of you so-called blacks to the pen 20, 30, 40 years and ruined the lives of so-called blacks. All right. During that time, the three strikes law. All right. Falsely imprisoning people. All right. Before that, you had Reagan. You had the crack epidemic. This man has a hatred towards you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Now, the focus is on you Latinos now. All right. And like I said, I'm looking inside this laundromat and they 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 don't know what the hell is going on, man. But you find out through the prophets. And for you for you men. All right. That look like so-called Latinos, man. You got brothers out in Los Angeles. You got brothers in Miami. You got brothers in um, Chicago that speak Spanish that can tell you what's going on. There's no excuses. So continuing on, it says he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but shall be broken without hand. This man is about to be taken down soon. All right. But before that, he's going to try to do his last little run. And we're warning our people to, hey, get under the graces of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the God of Israel, the God of the Bible. So with that, Lord, when I was edifying to the next time, I want to say Shalom. I'm the brother Aidna from the GMS Atlanta Church. Shalom.